Hey everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions and today we're taking a look at another really cool plugin called Inflator from Devious Machines and it can make your drums go from this to this. So if you like that kind of content, click the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And before we dive in, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great synth sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. So this plugin is super powerful and it can do so many things. You can think of it as a multi effect, but it's so much more than that. And to give you an idea, let's just listen to a couple of presets so we understand what we're working with. So so it has a bunch of presets, uh, obviously a lot of different people made some presets for it and right now I'm using it on a drum loop but you can use it on vocals, on guitars, on so many things and you will find some really creative stuff in there. So let's listen to a couple of presets. I really like some presets in the Heb Phobes. I'm a sound designer, so these are really crazy. Really nice textures. So as you could see, you can do a lot of crazy things with it, but first let's start with an initial preset so I can show you what it does. So these are basically insert slots. So you have 10 slots to put effects in and in every slot you have a crazy amount of options. You have a bunch of filters, different models, some have gains. Uh, you have a cum filter, ring modulator, phaser, EQ, two reverbs, a panner, formant, frequency modulation, looper, delay, gain, frequency shifter, decimator, pitch shifter, and distortion. All this in one plugin, and it's not even that expensive. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check out their website if you like that kind of stuff. So you have 10 slots where you can put those plugins. But the beautiful thing is not only about the multi effects, but what you can do with them. So here I selected a low pass filter and you have uh, the different settings from the effect you're tweaking over here. So I can tweak the cutoff just like a regular filter and you can see what it's doing on the left. So let's press play. So just like a regular filter. Now if I add some resonance and this one has a drive. So it has a little bit of drive and you can also have different settings over here depending on the effect that you're tweaking. So where this plugin really shines is that you can have different modulation curves and you can even draw your own curves. And if you want, you can have some random ones just by clicking on this button. This is always fun, but let's start with a regular signed curve so you understand what it's doing. Now to add some depth from that modulation to the cutoff right here, I'll raise that button over here. 
So as you can see, it's modulating the low pass filter. I can also bring it on the other side. So it's stucking instead. And there's also the option to make the audio trigger the effect. So depending on the transient, it's going to trigger the effect, the amount that you set. At the bottom here, you also have other options. Glide will basically smooth out the, the curve that you have. You also have some stereo effects. Uh, you can tweak the gain and change the mix for every single effect. You can also change the timing. As you can see here, there's a cursor going on. So each effect can have their individual timing. So I can make it go faster or slower. On top of that, you have a master section over here where you have a drive section and you have different types of drive over here. You can tweak the tone. You have a compressor and they sound really good. Let's try it out. Let's try the compressor first. Let's bypass this effect for now. And let's add some drive. You also have a clean bass. What it will do is it will prevent the low frequency range to be affected by the effect. So your, your bass section is always clean. So I like that. You can also switch um, the position of the drive. You can set it after the effect. That's all cool. So let's dive in and try to add some other effects. Let's reduce the mix of this. And let's add, let's say, a looper. Now this is crazy. But where this really shines is in the sequencer, because not only can you modulate all the effects, but you can have a sequencer where you decide when the effects is applied and when it's not. And the beautiful thing is there's a speed specific to the sequencer and it can be different from every speeds from every effects. So let's try it out. You have to press play to enable the sequencer. Let's put the speed at uh, 116 and let's make this longer. So for now, make it slower. Let's reduce the mix of that looper. Now let's say I like this, but I want to add other effects. So let's uh, disable the sequencer for now, just so we can listen to the effect. And I'll turn off this as well. So let's add for fun, a comb filter.
and let's put a sign there, assign some movement, add some stereo. Reduce the mix. Nice. Let's add something else. Let's go for an FM, something crazy. and reduce the mix. And now let's re-enable the step sequencer and let's add those effects as well. Let's add some reverb to it. Maybe some decimator. And just like that, we went from this to this. And we still have room. We can add more effects if we want. We can draw curves. We can do a lot of stuff. We can add them to our sequencer. Let's remove the sequencer just to hear how it sounds like when they're all on top of each other. Now that sounds really bad. This is mainly because of the reverb. I would probably reduce that reverb mix a little bit more, uh, but that's pretty cool. We just created a lot of movement to that beat. It sounds great. So I hope you like that kind of stuff. Uh, if you do, please let me know in the comments section. Let me know if it's worth it, if you use those plugins quite a lot. I know there are a lot of multi-effects out there, but this one was special because it had so many options for modulation. There's also macros, so you can assign any parameters to those macros. So you can select, for example, to assign this over here, the tone, the high... Uh, pass filter and even the master mix let's say so now if I press play I can tweak it so it's super powerful you can create your uh, own macros like that you can rename them and every presets have macros so if you select for example this preset it has macros for it so you can play around So it's super fun to work with, even if you don't understand how to design your sounds, just with the preset, I'm sure you'll be covered. There's a lot of crazy stuff. So if you like that, click the like button. And as usual, I see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.